ceasing. When Jesus spoke in Aramaic, and so he said, pray, the word prayer in Aramaic is different from prayer in Greek. The word prayer in the Aramaic means salata. Salata. Which means right. to set a trap. Uh, to catch your prey. Break it down, sir. Pray, oh Father, Mother. Why? Because in the original Arabic, it is really saying, when you pray, pray, oh Bertha. Yes. Okay. Because when you pray, you are the person. Yes. All right. Yes. So, oh Bertha, Father, Mother, who are in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. I'm setting a trap. My God. <laughs> To burst something through me. Come on, Apostle. And the only legal way it can come is I have to be the God do it. All right. Jesus. Of which it comes through. Yes. If anything is going to be burst, <clears throat> if anything is going to come through the heavens, it's got to come through you. All right. Thy kingdom come.
form of godliness. Uh, I ain't trying to have church as usual. I need something from God. Yeah. But can I be clear to you tonight? I got it. Yeah. I don't know how it's happening. I don't know which way it's turning. I just know it's turning. Yeah. I can get five people that agree with me and I agree with you. Yeah. And it's already done. You need to know how it is. It's just a good deal. I want you to shout this stuff. Thank <laughs> you. 
tell you you won't need a crutch or a cane any longer. Because he's taking it away from you because you've got to stand on your own. And he's going to increase your strength in this season. Not physical, but it's in the spirit. You are waiting and depending on something, waiting for something else that you don't need anymore. You don't need a support system in this season. I am your God. And I'm standing strong for you. And after the all was said, you stood and you felt like I was going to fall, but you didn't fall. Come on, Jesus. God said, from this day forward, because you did not faint, you're going to reap. You're going to reap. Oh, thank you. You're saying in tears. So that's how you can enjoy There's a harvest being released to you right now. And you must be able to open your hands and your feet to receive what's coming. So in this season, you're not going to have to wait and be shaking about what's going to happen. God says it's already going to happen. Hallelujah! I'm going to set things in motion. Flow apostle. I'm moving as an apostle. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Command things and it happens. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Woo, Lord. Yes, sir. There's a difference. Come on. Your life has just came in motion. Hallelujah. Hey, hey. Now, he said, I'm not coming. Come on, apostle. But the attention is missing. Yeah. That's all right. Set up. Hey, oh my just God. like this. Oh God. Oh God. Yeah, because I'm bringing things into motion. Can I tell you everything in your life is now moving in motion? Oh, yeah. 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 Woo. Jesus. Woo. Jesus. Woo. 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 Yeehaw. 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 Yeehaw.
Confirm it. Come on here. I feel a fire you're going to come right there. Yeah, yeah. Let's see if you can lay hands on the person. Hold that for you. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. My God. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes.
My God from Zion. I don't know what's going on. Why apologize? Thank you. I need to feel all right. I don't know. Somewhere else. Thank you. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead. Why are you pulling on me? Uh huh. My God. You're not going to wonder. You're not going to have to figure it out. Because after tonight, there's about to be such a glory that's going to come over you in this next moment. But I see things in your life that have been out of whack and you try to put it into order. God said, I'm going to do it now. Watch me, said God. I'm bringing things together. And I'm going to put it all in place. And the Lord says, as I intercede, as I'm holding your hands, there's going to be such intercession going to you in the next moment that everything in you is about to move quickly. And everything in you is about to happen. Shift. Oh, uh -huh. It's about to shift in you right now. And the season that I have put you in is not a season of isolation. It's a season of revelation. Because I'm going to reveal to you things in your spirit, things in you, things that are about you that you didn't even recognize. But you're going to see it in this season. And I'm going to show you who I am. I'm going to work in you. And I'm going to do something in you that you have never seen before. It is something moving. It is something fresh. It is something equipping you. It is something now. And it's coming in you now. As I lay my hands right here, 